Hello! Thank you so much for tuning in today to our online service of worship here at First United Methodist Church of Laporte. I am Jeremy Trevino, one of the members here of this congregation. Today's service is a little bit different as rather than just one speaker uh, honoring one member of the church family, we actually have several different speakers who will be talking about uh, church camp at Lakeview and UM Army, a few of our students and a few of our adults who have taken part. I hope you find this a meaningful part of your service. God bless. <laughs> um, if you would like to come up here with some adults and some youth family back there, we're all kind of spread out. Um, if y'all want to come up here and join me. But I just want to first of all again thank um, the church and Greg Kev and, and just every single person that helped us um, be able to go to church camp and UM Army. Um, it has been a big, huge thing for us. Um, you know, my sermon a couple weeks ago was about getting out of the boat. And I feel like every single one of us this summer as some way have gotten out of boat for Jesus. Not every single person is comfortable going out of town. Not every single person is comfortable uh, speaking in front of each other or in front of a congregation. But we are so blessed and I'm so thankful that we got this experience. So I would actually uh, like to see if Jerry wants to start off and kind of share his experiences. And you are going to have to bear with us because we literally did not practice. This is a Holy Spirit filled moment. So let's live that flow right now. So here's Jerry. My heart is pounding. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but y'all are very strange, I'm sure. And I'm sorry, I get a little emotional, especially when we talk about our kids and our leaders, or our leaders, you can think And uh, just amazing. Uh, my, my, I'm so, so excited to get the experience here in the morning. First time ever. Uh, very interesting, uh, very challenging, but truly, truly blessed. I can't tell you how much with every opportunity, I want to encourage you uh, to do that. Don't go in the kitchen too much. <laughs> it was a great time. The kids, the way they step up is just amazing. The way that they, after two hours of being there together and putting all their junk in rooms and setting up their beds, just get to know each other and interact is just, it's incredible. And going out to the homes and working with those people um, there and the neighborhood, the community, and seeing how everybody just comes together, it's just incredible. So hopefully next year I can book my husband into coming with that. 
experience, so I really didn't know a lot. And um, it was it was like, the best experience I ever had helping um, LGBT people with people um, things they needed and um, seeing the reaction after they came out of the house and there was a state that didn't get out of for like two years. Oh. And we helped her build a ramp because she was so happy. Oh. Um, the elderly people were really nice to me and they were nice to all my teammates and leaders. Um, it made me feel sad though because um, I never had a grandma or a grandpa to have to hang out with. And so um, it made me really emotional. So um, they really treated me like you know, a grand, um, grandson or grand, sorry. Um, <laughs> And um, I had really great teammates and leaders. Miss Stacy um, noticed me getting a little bit of down sometimes. So she um, helped me pray for her and really kept me with me. Um, when I first got there, I thought I was going to be like, you know, chilling all good about it. But when I saw all these people and um, new persons, I lost all my confidence and I didn't want to be there anymore. So I told myself, God, you can use my words in my mouth to talk to me. And you can um, control me to show all the good because I don't know I'm going to have to do it all by myself. And I knew that I know my God was with me. And I was really thankful for him. And I knew I had friends with me. And I was um, going to keep going. God gave me the strength and power to keep going with um, all the work I have to do with other people. And I just want to say thank you very much for all this experience um, everyone gave me. And um, I hope you guys can do it one time too and see all the experience. I got a lot. I got out of my bubble a lot because I knew it was to show good and to help others. And I hope you guys can get out of your bubble sometime and you can spread the word of God because it's, some people don't know about Him, and it's better to show Him who He is and show His power to everyone else. Um, hi, I'm Kendra. Um, I'm a lady, and it was it was fun. I like. I'd say my favorite part of it was probably worship because like the talks and stuff. And like everyone, they're like holding like people and people are crying and like jumping around and singing. So it's fun. But that's all. Okay, so I went to both events. It was, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, so at Yomori, um, we built a 52 foot ramp um, for this woman who had not been able to get outside of her house very easily for uh, about two years. Um, it took her boyfriend picking her up off of the stairs and moving her down. Um, she had a lot of on her hip. So her hip down was not there. Um, so, yeah. Um, probably highlights were us decapitating the stuff animal. That was me, Garrett. Um, so we decapitated the stuff animal and put a different head on it. Um, I have pictures if you want to come up to me after service. Um, let's see, we had the Benadryl day, which I'm sure Stacey will go into more detail about, because I don't remember. I don't know what's going on. Um, we played with a scorpion. Yeah. Um, pretty great. Uh, Lakeview was fun, a lot of walking. Walked over 10,000 steps every day. That was a great time, and it was very hot both times. <laughs> oh, and um, our, our client at UM Army, um, so she was a Muslim Christian. So we were preached the Quran and the Bible coinciding for hours a day, every day for a week. That's all I have to say about that. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Kayla. Um, yeah, I went to both events. Your mommy was fun. Um, one day I got a sonic drink spilled on me in a call for no reason. And I told this lady when she spilled it on me that his drink was delicious. <laughs> um, but the experience was really fun. The worship was fun. Kat and Mr. Sean were great singers and great photographers. They they did really well. The food was great. Thank you. And um, yeah, everything was just super fun. Watching Stacy get sick though, that was the highlight. Helping like exhausted. It was, it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Um, you know Mommy was just a great experience and I mean like I wish anyone my age to go because it was really fun. I mean a lot of walking uh, a lot of a lot of interacting with other people, which is good unless you're an introvert. <laughs> um, so it's it's fun. It is.
we ate lunch every day on a cat cemetery and we didn't know it until like the last day. <laughs> well, like like the third day maybe, I don't know. But it was a cat sanctuary, a uh, cat like cemetery and like she like took care of all this cats and like it was going off. My aunt was so happy. Like she was happy all the time. We brought her lunch and she'd be so thankful and then, like she also had offered us popsicles but we didn't actually get to eat them. Yes, we <laughs> smelled Um, But, and then church camp was super fun. Most of these people weren't, most of them. Well, this one. Most of them. <laughs> when, um, there was a lot of walking, a lot of drama, of course, because we're teenagers. But, um, there, there was a lot of, there was e mornings, like the water sliding work, so people would maybe go to the lake. Um, one day, it was only me and one other girl at the pool, and we thought it was crazy because it was too hot to be reading. It was like seriously. <laughs> so, yeah, like most of the stuff we did was worship and like we had fun indoors, like playing. Like they had this one place, it's a game room. They used to have a shop next to it, they don't need them. It's getting remodeled. But um, it has like pool tables and like air conditioning. So that's the place where you go to hang out. There's like a gaga pit next to it and like, uh, I don't remember what the game is called. But um, then like <coughs> worship was huge and amazing. Like you get to hang out with your friends, but you also get to praise God and like you just worship. And like it's so much fun. Like kids loved it there. Like we had no problems this year. Like, the deans, uh, head people of your age group are like, so nice. Most of the time. <laughs> um, but then you get to hang out with your cabin, and like my cabin was awesome. Amy was in it, but it was like perfect. And I'm just so happy I got to go because I was contemplating not going because I did not like it last year. Like for some reason. I mean, I loved some parts of it, like the worship and the games and stuff like that. But the people there were really nice. But this year, they were so Wow, some of these stories I did not know we were sharing today. Woo! <laughs> I am so uh, blessed again to be part of this group. And um, they were uh, out in the heat more, and Stacy got to be the safety girl, so I was in and out, and in and out of my car, and I was the one. Uh, Jerry and I got sick pretty early on, and we were passing cooties back and forth, so we had a, a fun time. Um, but I agree with every single thing that everybody has said, and I'll, I'll keep it going to reach. Um, it was hard. It was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of emotions that we had, highs and lows. But um, you know, I'm talking again to these kids stepping out of their comfort zone to do these things, um, dealing with each other, being hot and tired and strong personalities is very interesting. Um, but one of my favorite experiences, um, since I didn't get to spend a lot of time with the clients, the clients are the ones that we are going to, um, that we went to help, um, after worship one night, and this was on Will and um, Taylor uh, and Gustavo's team, um, we got to have dinner on one of the nights um, with the clients at the church. They come and they eat and they pray with us and they have service with us. And um, afterwards, I was walking out and I was listening to one of the team leaders um, talk to one of the clients. And when we were walking out, um, she was kind of getting emotional and she said, I just want again to thank you guys. You have no idea how lonely that I have been. And then this whole week, you sitting and having lunch and doing devotionals in my front yard with me has brought me more joy. And then I'm going to miss every single one of you and your kids. And she literally knew every single one of our kids on her team, their names, things that they love. And she just talked about how much that she's going to miss us. And she turned around. And she said, I'm going to walk home, and she was crying. And I, I literally in that moment was thinking about how I could run after her, put her in my car, and bring her home. But I stopped myself, and I just went over there, and I gave her a hug, and I told her how much that we were going to be praying for her. And she hugged me so tight, and it was one of the, my, my favorite memories. But these are things that we're never going to forget, and these stories that we're never going to forget. Um, but thank you again. I'm going to pass it off to Jeremy. So I... There, due to circumstances and the training that I had, I didn't get to go to UM Army. However, as you can probably tell, I did go to camp, <laughs> uh, which was an amazing experience. It's my fourth year going. One of my favorite things, if not probably my full-on favorite thing to do for the summer. Uh, and Lakeview, one of my favorite things about it, I have three things I can tell you, which is uh, one of the biggest is it's not just about the kids. It is very much also for the adults. If you're unfamiliar, Lakeview is a summer church camp that blends worship, study, fellowship, and above all, fun. We enjoy ourselves with the kids. 
We get to do uh, zip lining, swimming, fishing, and target sports, amongst uh, other things. Someone actually trusted me to throw axes and shoot a bow and arrow. Let that sink in for a second. <laughs> and on the spiritual side, we have small group study and worship. The, the band that they had is their second year with us uh, at Lakeview. They are absolutely phenomenal. And uh, the guest speaker this year who was uh, Reverend Matt Neely. Very great to listen to. Uh, he was really good at blending what we learned in small groups with the actual service. Overall, it's a great experience. And for me personally, every year that I've been there, Lakeview has drawn out a different Jeremy, if you will. Year one was a rough year, personally. Those of you that know, life had turned upside down for me. So when I went to Lakeview that year, God knew I needed a cabin that was just maybe there for me with adults that would also just help me be stable. Year two was a Jeremy that needed to be there for his kids. Uh, the kids that I, three specifically, three kids in my cabin that needed someone to be a comfort. Year three, last year, where God said, just be present. Enjoy yourself with the kids. And learn to have fun. I'll tell you right now. If you're unfamiliar, we have something called a cookie raid in mid -high. You run out in the middle of the night, grab a bag of cookies. And apparently, because of the antics of my specific cabin, they had to change a couple of rules. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. And then this year, year four, Lakeview demanded, demanded, brought up a version of Jeremy to take the plunge and deepen my faith. Something that I got to experience and it's going to be very interesting. And of course, like I said, we got to have a lot of fun with the kids. Uh, now, did they drive me crazy? Absolutely. <laughs> for a few of them, including Mortifier, Nightmare, uh, Motor Mouth, yes, and they did respond to these, and Goat, for a kid who, I kid you not, for a while would scream like an actual goat. It was entertaining. But, yes, yes, you heard me right. But, for as crazy as they drove me and my co-counselor and the staff counselor, all three of us, I wouldn't change anything about them. I wouldn't change anything how I got to experience Christ, how I got to experience growing my faith with them. When I got to go into a little more spiritual, I got to talk about Christ being, of this, uh, being not of this world, but in the world, changing it. And that's the thing I'll remember most. And everyone behind me can, uh, everyone can attend to that. Like you, when you enter Lakeview, and when you leave, you are not the same person. Thank you so much for tuning in to our online service of worship. I hope you found that a meaningful part of your Sunday today. I know it's been a very, very interesting week as we are still recovering from Hurricane Barrel, and also for our church as we get ready for VBS. If you would like to learn a little bit more, become involved, please do not hesitate to ask, call the front office. Any way that you can help, everything is greatly appreciated. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you now and forever. Amen.